What's up guys, it's me Alan, and I'm back with another video today. And we got another diecast review to do today. And this guy, this guy got his first NASCAR Cup Series victory a couple weeks ago at Daytona. Unfortunately, meant that Jimmy Johnson wasn't going to make the playoffs, but you win some, you lose some. And that's just how it's been the last few years. But anyways, we're not going to dwell on that right now because we're talking diecast. We're doing a diecast review. And this diecast review is going to be on William Byron's number 24 Exalta uh, dual number 2 uh, race win Chevy for Hendrick Motorsports. So, yeah. Uh, before he won Daytona this year in the Cup Series, he, well, you know, as in a regular season race, he won um, the second dual race at the Daytona 500, or before the Daytona 500. Unfortunately, this car got taken out in the Daytona 500 in, like, it was like the first wreck of the, day, the event or something like that. So, which sucked, because this is a pretty awesome car, um, paint scheme as well. But anyway... As I attempt to get this car out of its box, what the heck? Why the... God damn it, there we go. I try not to dig my nail too much into the side of this thing to get the thing off, but... Or to get, to get it out open, but... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't wanna freaking rip the box up, but... You know. Anyway. So. Here's the die cast out of its box. And right out of the gate... Lionel, you fucked it up. Okay, I almost thought we had a working suspension again. Well, maybe a little bit, but no, that's not that's not the big fuck. The big fuck up here is this windshield. Look at the bottom. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's a freaking you can put your freaking th nail in there. There's a freaking space between the bottom of the windshield and the freaking hood, and it's sagging on this side. And it's not even loose. Like, it's in there. But, like, I can't... And I can't move it. But it's not in there properly. Like, I can literally see... What the hell? How do you fuck that up? And the fact that it... Again, the fact that it's not even moving... Holy shit. I have... I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've seen windshields that are sagging on one side. But I've never seen one where it's doing that. And it has a freaking gap. Between the front of the windshield and the freaking hood. How do you do that line up? How do you fucking pull that off? Seriously, what the fuck? Yo fuckers fucked up, but like, good lord. But anyway, aside from that, like I said, you know, this he won the second duel at the day, you know, prior to the Daytona 500. Um, this, is all, it, this is an awesome looking car, and... Quite frankly, like I'm looking at this orange, and I'm in it. I'm thinking of um, when Jim Kohler ran the orange um, Avenger Monster Jam truck at the uh, Monster Jam World Finals uh, back in the day. Um, that's what the that's what the orange on this car reminds me of. But I really I really like the combination of colors, especially the blue. Like that that just looks freaking that, that just looks fire. Like seriously, like no pun intended because of the design, but it it really looks. It really looks awesome. And, oh my god, you gotta be kidding. That's, that looks like a paint chip right there, and I can tell because I can see bare metal. Just a little bit. And another paint chip on the corner. I, I, Lionel, come on now. Also, you got the Exalta on the deck lid, which is not centered properly. That should be a little more over to the left. Um, paint it there, or something like that. Oh, and also, I'm pretty sure the Exalta coating system's right there. I think that's crooked. I, it's hard to tell a little bit, but uh, this is this is bugging me. This freaking gap is bugging me. It really is. Like, how? And also, the 24 on this side is crooked. Not lined up correctly. I, Lionel, seriously? 
Come the hell on, Lionel. What are you doing? Like, for fuck's sake. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta really figure out your quality control. Seriously. But yeah, this windshield, I've never seen that before. Where it's sagging. Yeah, it's a little wobbly. Okay. Where it's sagging on one side, and there's a gap between the hood and the freaking, in the bottom of the windshield. Like, that is, that is next level Lionel fuckery right there. That's next level Lionel quality control fuckery right there. Like, that's fucking, that's fucking insane. Um, but yeah. So, again, like I said, I don't have a ton necessarily to say about this other than the fact of, again, congrats to William Byron for winning uh, the Daytona race. Um, and also, you know, for back when he won this uh, in this car in the duel. But Lionel, once again, with these fuck-ups, and it's, and before you go, you know, ranting like, oh, why are you complaining, you know, it's a die-cast, it's, it's whatever, because we want the best, we being die-cast collectors, want the best quality possible, you know, when it comes to these die-casts. And there was a time where, you know, there was a lot of competition in the die-cast, mar you know, market in terms of making them, and you, everybody was pushing each other to make up, to make the best product. And now with, because Lionel's the only one doing it, um, are you fucking, is this a fucking joke? So this must, so this will be why it's wobbly. So it's wobbly and the right front tire is locking up. God damn it. I fucking hate that. Jesus. I mean, I'm probably not going to get another one to replace this because, like, you know, it's whatever. But Lionel, really? Seriously? Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, anyway, I'm going to have to end this one. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Lionel, get your fucking, app, get your fucking shit together with this quality control. Please and thank you. It would be nice. Anyway, see you on the next one.